It's Mother's Day. We want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, and we appreciate all that you've done for us. The things that you do behind the scenes that nobody knows about, the things that you sacrifice and you've given for your families. Thank you, moms. I'd like to take just a moment to say thank you to my mom. I'm the oldest of seven children, and mom did a great job raising us. I've been blessed with godly parents, and I appreciate all that my mom and dad has done for us. And on this Mother's Day, mom, I say thank you. I also want to say thank you to my wife, as she's done an awesome job raising our two children. Thank you, Lisa. We appreciate all that you've done. And as I've been blessed to watch two great examples of mothers in my life, I began to think about other individuals out there that maybe hasn't been so blessed. So today I'd like to talk to you just for a moment because on a day like this, there's a lot of, there's a lot of tension inside because we know on one hand we're to honor our mother, but on the other hand, our moms might not have been as honorable as they should have been. So what do you do with all that? Where do you take that? Because there's disappointment, there's hurt, and there is some scars maybe, some wounds that have been left behind because a mom or a dad hasn't done exactly what they need to do when you were younger and when, you're, when you were growing up. I want you to know that the Bible talks about that. And the Bible is clear that no matter what's happened in your physical family, that God wants to step in and help you with anything that you might've missed out on. And so you can still say happy Mother's Day to your mom and honor her, but yet allow God to help you with the situations and the circumstances that weren't just right. I know it's a touchy subject, and I want to assure you that God will help you with this if you will let him. Isaiah chapter 66, the last chapter in the book of Isaiah, the Bible says this in verse number 12, it says, for thus saith the Lord, behold, I will extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. You see, he was wrapping up his book and, and God was giving him some words to say to the children of Israel. And he said, the one thing I want you to know is God, God is going to give us what we need no matter what's happened all around us. He will give us peace like a river and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing. He said, I'll just keep it flowing into your life. Verse 13, as one whom his mother comforteth, so the Lord said, I will comfort you and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye shall see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his enemies, and his indignation toward his enemies. God said, I'm gonna step in there. I'm gonna help you. Maybe others in your, in your life haven't done what they need to do, but God said, you just wait. I'm going to flow some things into your life that you need. And when you're all done, they're going to know that there's a God in heaven and you're going to know there's a God in heaven. And I'm going to be just like a mother that will nourish you and help you. So on this Mother's Day, you can take heart in the fact that God is in control and God will help you. Jesus was teaching in, in, a, in a crowded group the one time in a house and his mom and his brothers came, and so they interrupted him in Matthew chapter 12, and they said, behold, your mom and your brother stand without, and they want to speak to you. This was his natural mother. This was his natural brothers, and he was, he was having discourse, and there was quite a, quite a spirited um, conversation they were having in Matthew chapter 12. And Jesus stops just for a moment and he asks the question. He said, who is my mother and who are my brother? Was Jesus being disrespectful to his mother? 
Because we have no evidence in Scripture that his mother had done the wrong thing, had dishonored him, had neglected him. All the indications in the Scripture are that Jesus' mother took good care of him. But yet here, Jesus asks the question to the crowd, Who is my mother and who are my brother? And he stretched forth his hand in verse 49 in Matthew 12, and he said, um, Behold my mother and my brethren, as he gestured toward his disciples. He said, there's a family that's more important than your physical family, and that's the family of God. And it doesn't matter what family you grew up in, God invites us into his family. And he said, if you want to be a part of my family, do what I ask. He said, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. He said, we all have a heavenly father and we all can be part of this wonderful family of God. So just follow what I ask you to do. So let me pray for you today that God would help you, that God would strengthen you, that God would bless you. And if there's been some hurt, if there's been some issues that have happened because of someone in your family that hadn't done the right thing, I'm praying for God to give you a healing today and begin the process to help you to be able to release that, to forgive if you haven't forgiven, and to become a better person because of it. Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity we've had to share today, and we pray that you help us to understand that it doesn't matter who hasn't done the right things in our life, as long as we have you there, that you're going to stand in that gap, and you're going to help us with the situations and the circumstances. We pray for healing today. We pray for health. We pray for strength, God. We pray for restored relationships. We pray that you'd give us a different perspective and you'd help us to be the person that you want us to be so that we could help our mom or our dad. We can help our brother or sister if there's an issue. We can help a relative with what's going on. And God, at the same time, you could help us. Let us see things correctly. Let us recognize the things that we need to do and God, forgive us if there's things that we've done wrong and help us to do the things you want us to do. Heal us, bless us, and touch us. We pray in Jesus' name. We thank you for your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Remember, you always have a Heavenly Father that's going to take care of you. No matter what's happening around, He knows where you're at, He knows your need, and He'll help you if you'll let Him. Have a blessed Mother's Day. Thank you for joining us for a few moments and walk in the power of God.